few days after the race, and he's still not 100% certain what happened here, but he either hit Jesse's frame or maybe some road debris kind of shot up into his spokes, but he ended up snapping eight spokes, and the wheel just goes nuts, and he, in, I don't know how he does it, but he ends up uh, staying upright here. He, uh, he actually emailed me a picture of the, of the wheel here. Now, someone on this video of the Antelope Idling Classic in Utah, and it was filmed by a YouTuber called The Spoke Show, and The Spoke Show, what he does is he has most of his contents about racing, and he gives a commentary, and there's like a little bit of humor in, and it's pretty entertaining. So go check out The Spoke Show if you haven't checked him out, and uh, you can actually go and watch the whole video related to this disc brake wheel failure. Now, just before I get into the video, I just want to acknowledge that the Roval wheel was replaced by Roval for a more premium wheel to the rider that had this failure. So, at the end of the day, the rider got a better wheel, no one was hurt, and there was a bit of a win, and the manufacturer backed their product and replaced it. Well, before we can speculate what could have caused this failure, we need to understand how a disc brake wheel is built and designed compared to a rim brake wheel. Now, a disc brake wheel, as we know, has a disc in the middle. But what we need to do is we need to transfer that braking force through the spokes to the outer rim, so then that rim wants to slow down and it slows the whole bike down. Whilst with a rim brake bike, we don't need to transfer any loading from the hub to the rim because the brake is actually on the rim. All of the spoking needs to do is basically hold the bike up or control the inertia of the wheel trying to slow down quicker than the bicycle. So the loading forces on the disc brake wheel and the rim brake wheel are quite different. One, it's actually in tension, complete tension at 90 degrees to the rim and the hub. And in the disc brake wheel, it, you actually have to angle the spokes and have cross spoking so the, they're angled across the rotation of the rim, so the forces of the rotational hub trying to go faster than the, than, sorry, s slower than the outer rim needs to be transferred to the outer rim and then also slow down the outer rim. Now there's a number of different spoking designs, but when I was looking at this video and trying to count the spokes in this wheel, it was pretty much destroyed. But I do believe it had a 21 spoke system. So what normally they do with 21 spokes is that 14 of the spokes are on one side and seven of the spokes are on the other side. And what happens is, is the seven spokes are twice the tension of the 14 spokes and there'll also be a different angle generally there because the wheel's dished as well. Whilst with a radial wheel, there is no dishing and there is no um, tension difference between the spokes. All of the spokes are the same. Well, before we jump in and discuss what may have caused this wheel failure, I need to clarify one, I haven't had access to the components. I haven't seen any report related to why the wheel may have failed all I've seen is the video clip that everyone else has seen watching this. Now, when we talk about the rider, the rider as well doesn't know really why it failed. They surmise it could have been a rock that was flicked up. He may have had a slight contact with another rider. Maybe it was the lever off the fuel axle that caught a spoke. We don't really know. What we do know is that the wheel didn't just break one spoke. It had a dramatic failure and eight spokes were broken. So it was pretty pretty good to keep the bike upright and it didn't have an accident. So let's just jump in and let's just have a look at what may have caused this wheel to fail. Now when we brake on a disc brake bike, we're putting a huge amount of force through the spokes as it's trying to transfer that load from the hub to the rim. And that's actually quite a significant force for a very short period of time. And then that force is released, the spoke then relaxes and goes back to its minimal forces that it's used just to hold the rider and the bicycle up. But on a ring brake bike, that's actually not the case. The force that we apply to the rim 
we're directly breaking the rim so there is no braking force being transferred through the spokes it's just the force of the wheel trying to slow up and the rider move forward and that's a tensile force so there's nowhere near the same loading that's put through a disc brake wheel as there is a rim brake wheel during a braking process. Now what this can lead to, if you have a cycling of stresses, so the stress is on, the stress is off, stress is on, stress is off, you have a cycling and that can fatigue components. Now this is one of the reasons that I do believe, I've, I've kind of suspected that there would be a failure like this and it's because once we go for these cycles at some stage then a, a spoke is going to break, the braking forces then are applied over lesser spokes and brakes over lesser spokes and so forth. Or in this case you're just riding along and the wheel failed. So this is a big concern. Now I'm not saying this is the reason why this particular wheel failed but I wouldn't be surprised if this was a contributing factor. Now we can't prove that, I haven't got, as I said, I only have seen the video, but to me having so many spokes fail instantaneously is kind of really a bit unusual. And I would have said, I would believe that there's been a fatiguing cycle happening in that wheel and most of those spokes have been fatigued and that's why there was a huge failure, eight in this case on that wheel. So guys, leave your comments down below. This is a bit concerning, as I said, um, as more and more of the new technologies come onto the market, we're going to eventually start to see some of these problems. Now, the, the issue is they might say, oh yeah, but it's it's a failure rate of one in 10,000 or 100,000. But if you're riding that 100,000th bike and the wheel basically just gives up on you, like in this instance, you're the one that's gonna face plant to deck. So guys, Leave your comments down below what you think. Have you seen this? Have you experienced it? Have you heard of it? And just let us know. And uh, that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. And I'll catch you next vid. Cheers.